So on Tuesday, the Oscar nominations came out, and I was pretty excited um, because I got the, pretty much them all correct, um, except for the acting. I got four out of five on all of them, which was pretty cool. Um, I had predicted ten movies. I did not think that it would go to ten, but they're allowed ten, so I predicted ten. Um, they only nominated eight. The two that I was unsure about was Bohemian Rhapsody and First Man. I was correct on First Man not being nominated. Um, I was incorrect on uh, if Bill Street could talk being nominated. Um, so, but I did get eight out of eight because one that I predicted, or two that I was predicted of the ten, were not nominated, and I was very happy that Bohemian Rhapsody got nominated. I'm going to do a quick little movie review on Bohemian Rhapsody. Um, I, f I saw it in the theater twice, and since it's been out where you can watch it online, I've seen it three times online. Um, and it comes out on DVD Blu-ray next month, and I'm super excited because it is one that I will own. Um, last year, not last year, but 2017 into last year, um, uh, the movie that I went and saw a lot and was somewhat obsessed with was, if you can call me obsessed with anything, <laughs> was The Greatest Showman. And not, I won't say every year, and I won't say that I have a particular... Um, movie that that happens a lot with and there's there's not uh when i was growing up the the movie that i was grounded from was dead poet society i used to watch it like two times a day after school i'd like i'd watch it put it in the vc bar vc bar vcr recorder and then re or rewinder and then rewatch it um i went and saw ps i love you i think four times in the theater i saw a couple movies three times. It's not necessarily that uncommon if I like a movie to watch it at least twice. I saw the movie last year, Searching. I saw that twice. I saw Mamma Mia twice. Um, especially if I see it with a set, with, with someone else. I mean, I go to movies by myself all of the time. Uh, more often than not, if I go to a movie, I do go alone, <laughs> which my best guy friend has deemed me pathetic and depressed, um, basically, for doing that. But you know what? Oh, well, I don't care. Um... I do go to movies with people as well, but I do go to movies quite often by myself. This being said, I am going to do my review of Bohemian Rhapsody. Um, I was a little skeptical in the first place to even watch Bohemian Rhapsody, as I had never heard of any of the actors that were in the movie. I wasn't that big of a fan of Queen. I knew who Queen was, I knew who Freddie Mercury was, um, until I saw the movie, I actually thought all four members of Queen were gay. I knew Freddie Mercury was, but I didn't know that the other three were not. Um, I didn't even know the other three people's names, to be honest. I had no I mean, I, obviously I knew they had names, but I had no idea what their names were. Um, so I had no idea that John, Brian, and Roger, that was, were their names, I didn't know that they weren't gay. I mean, I knew they were four men calling themselves Queen, and I, because Freddie Mercury was gay, I just kind of assumed the other three were too. So, um, that's what happens when you assume you're oftentimes wrong. Uh, but I knew the music, and I liked most of the songs that I'd heard of theirs, and so they were a little bit before my time. I was seven years old when Freddie Mercury died. Um, so, and Live Aid was a year after I was born. So, really they were pretty much before my time. But, you know, you see movies or TV commercials, you hear them on the radio, you know, you got We Are the Champions, we have We Will Lock You, you got um, Bohemian Rhapsody, of course. Um, my Best Friend, Another One Bites the Dust, uh, A Crazy Little Thing Called Love, um, some songs that I didn't even know were by Queen. I knew them, but I didn't know they were by Queen, that are by Queen. And so, um, 
that's why I went and saw the movie was because I was familiar with their music. Um, saw the movie, loved it. Um, saw it again, loved it again. But it wasn't really one that I was gun ho on paying money to watch a third time in the theater. Um, but it's one that I always, I, I remember telling my mom that, um, I felt that it, that the star Rami Malek deserved an Oscar nomination. There was at that point still some talk about him getting one. And I felt from the very get go that he would be deserving of it. Um, I didn't think that he would win and I still don't just because, very rarely does a person I want to win win, <laughs> to be honest. It doesn't happen often. Um, I think the last time, I wanted Gary Oldman to win, but I kind of knew he was going to because he was winning everything. And I think it's interesting how there's an almost a 50-50 split between Rami Malek and Christian Bale. Um, I think the Oscar is going to go to Christian Bale. I would love it. If it went to Matt or Rami Malek, uh, I'm not a Rami, Ma Rami Malek fan per se. I mean, I've seen some interviews that he's done, but that's r just promoting this movie. That's really it. I haven't really seen a whole lot other than this movie and him promoting this movie and, and him winning the Golden Globe, um, which I was extremely ecstatic about. If you see, you can see my video <laughs> where I just screamed, a very joyful scream, um, which I'm sure my neighbors were just like, what the crap is going on over there? But uh, the same thing happened a long time ago when um, Evan Lysenchek won the Olympic gold in 2010. I was at a hotel, and when I found out, I screamed very joyfully. I'm sure that my you know, people that were in the hotel did not enjoy that. But anyway, I enjoyed it. Um... Bohemian Rhapsody, I do understand to a certain degree some of the, the criticism it gets. I don't, I didn't think it was that bad. Um, I'm not by any means a film scholar. I don't necessarily see, uh, in, or a film critic, I don't necessarily see all the errors or missteps in films that people who are into that kind of thing or study that kind of thing do. Um... I mean, I'm a massive movie buff, but I like to watch it for the entertainment pur purpose. Um, I also am one who I do like the like to know the the ins and outs and the behind the scenes stuff uh, to a certain degree. Um, but I thought it was very well done. I thought it was tasteful. I mean, I, there was some. I guess there's some criticism that there wasn't a whole lot to do with, you know, Freddie Mercury being gay, but you know what, I, I don't think that was really the purpose of the film was to focus on that, and while he was gay, and it does touch on that, um, and it's, it's pretty prominent in it, in all honesty, um, you know, as he says in the movie, and as I've heard, uh, from people who knew him, so he didn't want that to be necessarily what he was known for. And so I think that the, the movie respected that. And so it wasn't necessarily in your face. I mean, I don't think that a character or someone being gay should be in your face. Um, and I know this may sound like I'm anti-gay. I'm not. My best guy friend is gay. I love him to pieces. And all I want for him is to be happy. And he's happy dating the guy that he's dating. I've never met the guy that he's dating. And I hope to someday. But, um, you know, as long as my friend is happy and is treated well, that's all I care about. So I, I just don't think it should be flung, flung in people's faces. Um... Just like I don't necessarily think straight people should fling that into people whose gays faces, you know, whatever. Um, I don't know. I just complain and that's a whole different thing altogether. So, um, but I thought that it was done well and tasteful. Um, I didn't think there was any disrespect there. Um, if anything, I thought they were respecting Freddie's wishes and not throwing it in people's face and making it, like, the center of the movie. Um, I 
I just kind of totally ran out of things to say, so I'm going to end this here. But it's, in my opinion, it's a great movie. It was definitely the best movie of 2018, in my opinion. And, uh... I think that it should definitely win Best Actor. I don't think it will, but I think Rami should. And I will be ecstatic if I'm wrong and thinking that he won't. And I, you know, and what I mean by that is I would be ecstatic if Rami wins instead of Christian Bell, but I think it's going to go to Christian, um, especially if Christian wins on Sunday. But if Rami wins on Sunday, I think Rami's chances of winning the Oscar goes up. And I'm really, really hoping he's crossing any fingers for Rami. I don't think that Bohemian Rhapsody is going to win Best Picture. But again, I'll be ecstatic if I'm wrong in that, and it does. But personally, I think it will either go to Green Book or Roma or Star is Born. Um, although I'd be okay with Green Book winning too, because I thought that was a good movie as well. All right, now I'm really going to stop this video.